Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Naveen Wood and in today's video I am finally getting to my Highline Hair Topper thoughts, first impressions, review, everything. I've been wearing this one non-stop as a, if you've looked at if you've watched my other videos you have probably noticed I've been wearing this one in nearly every other video for the last like couple of weeks and I'm finally getting around to recording and talking about this hair topper so if you're interested stay tuned and yeah let's get into it okay to start off with the color of this hair topper is a light Lexi with a dark root as I'm sure you see it is a silk top the cap size is 7 by 8 and the length is 18 to 19 inches. The density, from what I remember off the top of my head, I believe is 120%. It's a stand, there's, you know, her standard density, I'm pretty sure. I'll need to contact her and double check on that. The information wasn't in my purchase email, so I'll, I'll have to find out. But I'm pretty sure from what I remember, it was their standard 120%. Uh, density. So yeah, as I'm sure you noticed, the light Lexi part is much too light for my natural hair. Um, my natural hair is close to, it's like between a two and a three dark brunette. Let me see. If I, see, much too dark for the light Lexi. But I fell in love with this color and I thought, you know, with the dark root, that maybe I could pull it off. And I think it looks pretty I think it looks pretty funky. I think it looks cool. I mean, yeah, I have dark hair peeking out from underneath, but um, I like it. It's 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 a vibe. It's a vibe. I'm totally cool with. <laughs> I've always wanted a highline for so long. Um, I've spotted, I've seen pictures on Facebook and on Instagram. Everyone's raving about them and the colors, and it, they just looked beautiful. And I finally was able to order one. Um, directly on the website. I it took me <laughs> I had my notifications turn on uh, a tip from a friend of mine on Instagram um, Told me to turn on notifications so that it would tell me Like notifications on the Highline uh, wigs um, Instagram so it would notify me when she would post a story or like a new post and stuff and she posts on stories before she posts the hair pieces on the website so when I spotted this in the stories, I went straight to the website and just kept reloading over and over again. Uh, like, you know, for an hour or so. <laughs> and when it finally popped up, I just instantly, you know, threw it into the cart. And another tip was to make sure you're already logged into your PayPal. So you just go through it quick so that someone else doesn't like snipe it from you. Um, you can buy Highline pieces uh, gently used or used on... Uh, there's an Instagram page, Trading Tresses. There's also Silker, uh, Re Silker Lace. I'm going to link everything, link them down below. There's also a Facebook group where there's a buy and sell group where you can buy um, gently used, you know, hair toppers. And I'll, you'll see a lot of highlines pop up there every once in a while. I did buy a highline wig from a hair sister on Facebook and on Instagram. Uh, but that's for another, I'll show you that one in another video, but... Back to this one. It was bought brand new. I live in the UK, so customs was pretty rough. Not going to lie. The customs was almost $200 or almost 200 pounds, sorry. Uh, it was about 180 pounds in customs charges, which uh, was, not, <laughs> was not, not what I was expecting. It was a bit more in customs than my Lusta topper was. So keep that in mind if you are ordering brand new from the Highline website and you're in the UK. You'll you'll likely get hit by customs charges. And in terms of packaging, um it came with this um information uh sheet which is basically just about, you know, if you want to return it, alterations, that sort of thing. And this is uh, you know with all of uh, the Highline information on the front, follow me. And also the care instructions and how to wash, which I think is great. Especially if this is like your first hair topper ever, you know, I think it's great that it comes, you know, you have the information right here on how to care for it and how to wash it. Um, which I'll probably do another video on. 
sometime soon on how I care for and wash my hair toppers if you're interested and what products I like to use. Um, I know a lot of uh, the Highline pieces come in like boxes, wig boxes, but I guess because it was shipped to the UK, it came in this little bag. And this little bag is great. I think it's great for travel. It'll be nice to, you know, throw it in there if I need to like take my topper, you know, to travel with me on holiday, you know. Remember when we used to have those? <laughs> I could do with one now so <laughs> fingers crossed I can soon but yeah and when I do I'll have this nifty little bag to stick my topper okay. into to the hair it's super soft so soft like I figured if the light Lexi was too bright for me that I could add some low lights into my topper to kind of help blend it but I think it's fine um one of the ways I like to wear it at times is grabbing some of my own bio hair underneath and twisting it with some of the topper and then putting it in a clip. I don't have I don't have a mirror in front of me so this probably looks crazy but it's to help kind of blend it in because my bio hair is really close to the color on the roots so I think it works out pretty well, you know? What do you guys think? Can I rock this? Either way, I love it, and that's the important thing, right? Um, in terms of the density, I know I the moment I when I posted this uh, about this hair top on my stories and on my Instagram, I had a few people ask me what the difference between this and the Lusta. My personal opinion, the Lusta is more hair. It is a thicker density, uh, like for sure. I I had to get the Lusta thinned out and. I still probably need to get it thinned out some more, but um, and but this one is, I don't need to get this one thin. I think it's perfect, and let me see, I could easily throw it up in a ponytail, maybe a little clip. This clip is probably too small, but it's what I have on hand in front of me. Throw it up in a clip. Put some hair in the front. With the Lusta, I can't do that that easily. It's like, you know, full on hair. <laughs> Even after being thinned out, it's really hard for me to throw that one up in a ponytail. This one, I love that I can do that with and I don't need to take it out to get thinned. Here's the thing, with the density, if you have a lot of loss in the back, like in the back, which I don't personally have, and you're weighing your options between Lusta and Highline, and you have a lot of loss in the back, I would go with Lusta because it, it is more hair and you'll have more coverage in the back. With the Highline, this Highline, I'm not sure if you'll get as much coverage in the back. Personally, my hair loss is mostly centered in the parting and in the front. But from what I've heard from other um, hair sisters and other women who have gotten or worn Highlines and stuff that have loss in the back, they find that it doesn't cover well it covers but if the wind blows you know you can kind of see it so if you're flirting between the two and you have hair loss in the back I would probably go with a luster but if you don't um I'd go with the highlight <laughs> they're both great brands like I love both of them and it's so hard to pick a favorite it's really just a personal preference and how much loss or hair loss you're looking to cover up and what sort of density you're looking for so it's it's really dependent on that you know but in terms of hair quality and the clips and everything both brands are are chef's kiss amazing so <laughs> but they are quite expensive so keep that in mind let me show you the coverage in the back this is how much coverage you get in the back I like I said I don't have much loss hair loss in the back my my hair loss is mostly in the hair parting and the top and in the front but um hopefully this will help you see i do have a video uh reviewing my lusta hair topper so you could see the difference in density between my lusta which is there 120 percent density and this highline which is 120 percent density like i said um i could easily throw it up into a ponytail or you know into a clip 
which is like how I like to wear my hair in the summer. So yeah, that's the coverage in the back. Now I'm going to take it off and show you the inside of the cap and the clips. Before I do that, the clips are so comfortable. They're really comfortable. They're as comfortable as my Lusta clips. They're both like, they're great. They're really comfortable. They're not, they're not tugging. Um, I've had hair toppers like my uni wigs, which aren't like, they're not super uncomfortable. I can, you know, I wear, I put on, um, dry shampoo and texturizing spray and so it won't move around and that sort of thing, but definitely 100% the Highline clips are a lot more comfortable than the uni wigs hair clips on my topper. Toppers, sorry. <laughs> so let me unclip this to show you the inside. This does have five clips on the inside, which I'll show you in a sec, um, and a comb, which some people like to remove, but I just keep it in there just in case, especially if it's a windy day. I might, you know, secure it. In terms of my hair, I've been using this new shampoo conditioner, volumizing one, which has added a bit more poofiness and a bit more volume to the top. But uh, yeah, that's for another video. If you're interested in hearing uh, about what products I use on my natural hair underneath, but I have Androgenet and <laughs> ah, oh, tongue tied today. I have androgenic or androgenetic alopecia, which is female pattern uh, hair loss. It's mostly centered at the top, so you can see. My hair is a bit of a mess right now. Let me get a comb. This is the John Renault comb, which I love to use. This hair, I washed it yesterday, so yeah. I like to show my hair loss in each video prior to, you know, under when I'm covering up <laughs> with my hair topper. Uh, I was on minoxidil for years, but I did stop using it about a year ago when I switched to just wearing alternative hair and fibers and sprays and that sort of thing because it stopped working for me. It's not that it stopped completely. It just wasn't the hair it grew didn't grow very long anymore. It was like tiny strands of hair and it was very wispy and very weak and it just wasn't doing me any favors but yeah hopefully you can see I mean I have a bit of regrowth from the last time but it comes and goes and I shed oh do I shed <laughs> okay so back to the topper. This is the gorgeous color. You can kind of see the density here. It's very, it's pretty, to me it's pretty lightweight, but I like that about that. I don't have to thin it out and I think it, it, it just, just plop it on my head and just works. <sighs> the color. That's what won me over for this piece. I, I ordered it thinking, oh, it might not even work for me. It, it might look completely off, but I wanted it, you know? <laughs> it's just so pretty. I've always wanted a light Lexi with a dark root or a dark Lexi. And this one popped up before a dark Lexi would. So anyways, here's the silk top. Mm, completely natural looking. It can be parted either way. I just like... To be honest, this is a center part, and I I haven't really been parting my hair toppers much. I just clip it in a little bit to the side, and it works out pretty fine. And here is the inside. So you see there's five clips, pressure-sensitive clips. They're really comfortable. They have that little silicone strip in them. And the comb. It's a lovely piece. I really, really enjoy it. In terms of flatness, I have a strangely shaped head. This doesn't lay completely flat on my head. There is a little bit of a bump that when you, you know, when you press down, that is like, you know, not laying flat against my head. Um, the, my Lusta does lay a bit flatter on my head, but, but, um, it's still brand new. Um, 
with my Lusta, it's almost, it's a pretty much a year old and I, it lives on a mannequin head. And this one, you know, came in a, <laughs> hasn't, uh, hasn't been resting on a mannequin head, my usual mannequin end for long enough to kind of like help, you know, flatten the back where it would lay flat on, flatter on my head. Um, I know that I've seen a tip on Instagram from another person who, you know, like wears hair toppers and stuff. She'll put a hair topper on a mannequin head and then place a book on top of it and leave it there for like overnight or for a few days, I guess. Uh, I can't remember <laughs> exactly, but it helps with laying the hair topper flatter on your head. So if you're having that as an issue, you could give that a try. I'm going to be doing that and I'll get back to you. Maybe I'll... I'll post in the comments and I'll pin it if it worked out and if I could, you know, get it to lay a bit flat in the back, the, the top and the back. But honestly, it, it, it's not like super bumpy or anything. It's just a tiny, tiny bit. And I think with regular use as it softens up and resting on a mannequin head, um, it'll smooth out and it'll lay flatter on the top of my head. So, yeah. That is my initial review and first impressions and, you know, starting review for my new Highline Light Lexi Dark Roots 18 to 19 inch 7 by 8 cap hair topper. I'll do an updated review in a couple of months um, after I, you know, I've worn it for more time and styled it more, you know, washed it more and tell you how it holds up. I want to do that with all my hair toppers. Do like an you know, first month, first you know, first month review, initial impressions, you know, all that good stuff and then another review like 4 or 5 months from now and then like 7 or 8 or like a year after that which I've been doing with the Lusta topper because they cost a lot and you want to make sure that they're going to endure, you know? I'll be posting more reviews about my um, more affordable synthetic hair toppers. I know I've been asked um, a few times about more affordable options, synthetic options on Instagram. So I'll be posting reviews on those as well in the next few weeks on the ones that I own. And if you're interested in seeing any of those or, you know, any of the toppers I own <laughs> or anything you'd like me to try out, um, I could take a look at. Please, you know, leave it down below in the comments, like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos, hopefully coming soon. Bye.